Tim here, Tierdy Adventures. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in as always. Really appreciate it. And if you saw my little post in that community tab, officially over 2,000 subscribers. Again, I know it's not a huge number for me. It's very exciting. I'm very, very happy and honestly super stoked that I'm even that, even made it to that. So that is all thanks to all of you that come in, check out the videos, hang out, all the positive feedback. So once again, thank you all. So where are we at here? We're gonna mess with some more of the anti-foams from Three Brothers RC. Uh, saw in the last video, went through, got them all installed, went out, took them on a test run, and was very, very impressed with them, just the state they were. So what I'm working with here, anti-foam wise, this is the 4.75 single stage soft. Uh, so that's how I ran them the first time and I didn't even have my tires vented when I ran them the very first time and I was still super, super impressed with the foam. I have now uh, vented the tires while I'm doing all of this. Um, but since then, we also finally got in some of the um, tuning rods for the anti-foams. We have the larger diameter tuning rods and the smaller diameter tuning rods. We wanted to, wanted to get these in here and you know just kind of experiment around. So here's our size difference there between the large and the small diameter. Um, but like I was saying, with these and all these different spaces and the tuning options, there's a lot of tuning ideas and possibilities and just that ultimate fine tuning that I believe that this foam is offering us. Um, so i um, super excited to get going. Like I said, I'm just gonna try a little bit here. I said right now, you know, this is a new foam. This is a new design. This is something um, and it's tuning ability, something that we're not used to um, in this part of our RC world. So um, right now I don't have any, this is it. This is one all be all tuning combination for you right now. Um, this is all experimenting. That's what a lot of us are doing right now. We're going out, we're running them, we're changing up our patterns and stuff like that, seeing what works better, uh, seeing what works, what doesn't work, and trying to give as much feedback as we can. So if you're going to suggest following the Three Brothers RC fan page, there you're going to see a lot of people and combinations they've seen, um, stuff, um, what's working, what's not working, stuff like that. You know, this is a learning curve for all of us right now, and very, very excited to be part of that. So I do want to change this up a little bit just to experiment. Um, so I do like how the front is soft there. I do like having a softer foam in the front and a stiffer foam in the rear. So for the front here, I'm just going to try a different little pattern here. So you just take one tuning rod there and I'm just going to put one tuning rod all the way around in the bottom section here. And it's simply eh, just like that installing them. And I'm just going to do that all the way around. All right, so here's the pattern that I'm going to experiment first on the front. Now, I, I'm just going here, just in this bottom row, because I do like the softness here. I always I like that soft there for that initial rock contact. Then we get down uh, to where this is going to stiffen up, almost give it more of a true dual stage like. Um, and also having the tuning run here is going to help even more so with the uh, sidewall rigidity, you know, letting the foam keep its form and not letting the tire roll over. Now, that is honestly one thing that I'm most impressed with so far. Um, with the anti foams is the side hill. Um, I really, really dig the side hill performance that I've seen so far the past couple weekends. Now, here in the rear, I'm going to go ahead and knock one out real quick. I'm going to take the larger diameter tuning rod and I'm going to put it right here in the middle. And I'm going to do that all the way around just like this. There we go. All set up for the pattern here for the rear. Um, like I said, this is just going to make that one just a little more overall stiff in the rear. Uh, then there in the front, we can see right there. Overall, and again, once again, these tuning rods are gonna again help out more with that side hill. Uh, so, also one thing I do want to mention, and you do need to take into consideration. Um, you know when using these builds and you're building your full performance, one thing that is taken into consideration on everything is weight. So, uh, when you're adding all these, you do add some weight, um, and I can feel a difference here between this tire using all the large tuning rods and this tire using all of the soft tuning rods. So that's one thing to take into consideration. Um, and I will be definitely keeping an eye on that. Um, get all these mounted up. I'm going to throw the truck back on the four corner scale, make sure everything there is still looking okay. Cause again, it's all, all comes together in the fine tuning of your truck and the overall performance, weight balance, bias and stuff like that. So get these mounted up. Weather does look clear this weekend. So hopefully be able to get out um, get some more runtime in, which is much needed because I've 
in addition to changing axles, tires, foams on the class two. I've also now changed the body. We have ditched the hard body. We are to a full Lexan body. So probably not my brightest move before a big comp coming up here, um, local that uh, we were hosting, but it is what it is. So I have some major, major drive time to do here. Um, also, hopefully be getting some more of the anti-foams in. Um, there was a pre-order um, last week. Um, and even being a team driver, I missed on the pre-order. Um, I knew when it was gone, we all got the email. Um, anyone that was signed up with Three Brothers got the email. Um, I came out from work. I laid down, relaxed, kind of dozed off and woke up. was like, dang, I missed the pre-order. But have no fear. Um, these are in production almost a full 24-7 right now. So they are coming. Um, 4.75s more of the regular anti-films. 4.19 and 2.2s as well now. Um, will be coming, so I hopefully be able to get my hands um, on a little bit of everything because that's another reason I do want some more sets so I can get them in a couple different sets of tires and test. Now, um, rather I swap wheels and tires on the same rig or just in general just watching how the tire works on other rigs and maybe trying some different combinations in each set of the anti-foams, just do some experimenting. Um, see what works, okay? I do like the way that conforms a little bit more than this one and I use that pattern so let's change it up stuff like that again this is going to be a learning curve for everyone um so let's all just buckle up and go for the ride I'm gonna get these finished mounted back up get the tires um remounted back on the truck get it out this weekend like I said I have now vented the tires as well so we'll see how everything else there comes into play other than that we have a few little things mostly just getting last minute prep getting all the trucks official ready getting uh kiddo's truck more points and stuff added up make sure he's good to go comp next weekend uh, and also tune in friday night um yes we are working on the um vs410 phoenix uh no i'm not doing a full build video on it there are already a good amount of in-depth detailed build videos on it but so i've already started on it i finished up axles um bodies prepped paint and stuff like that i will be finishing it up on the live stream, get the last electronics, finish putting everything to go, and a semi little unveiling. You guys will probably be the first to see it. Um, so tune in Friday night. Hope to see y'all. I know there are other uh, live streams on Friday nights, but like I said I'm having to move it right now from Thursday temporarily. So um, if you have some extra free time, want to flip back and forth between some live streams, come on over, come hang out. You know, nothing fancy. We just chill, hang back, and See if I can hopefully not mess up anything putting that truck together. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel down below. Uh, be sure to hit that notification bell so you get all the good stuff. Um, any comments, suggestions, anything, as always, put them down below. And everyone, have a great one and crawl on.